Who's ready for a bedtime story? Me. Who's ready for a Christmas bedtime story? <laughs> I would like to read you uh, a story about Christmas cookies. I think I'll read it like this. You can see the picture while we go on the other side. Okay. Debbie kissed Mommy goodnight and remarked, My cookies will be safe for Grandma for Christmas in their nice box. Is that their bed for the night, Mommy? Yes, dear. Now off you go to your own bed and have sweet dreams. Miss Fairy Queen rubbed her eyes, dressed in glittering silver sugar and white lacy icing. She waved her wand. The magic music notes chimed. One by one, each beautiful cookie woke up singing their happy song. Jolly elf, prancing reindeer, shining star, tinkling bell, Christmas tree, and Santa Claus. We are so happy, crispy, and sweet, just fresh and lovely for everyone to eat. <laughs> <laughs> the frolic was gay and the laughter loud. Their dance started with a big bounce and the lid of the uh, box flew open. Each skipped along the shelf, down the arm of the rocking chair, onto the stool, and down the hall into Debbie's bedroom. They climbed up the comforter and onto her pillow. Oh, what a gorgeous place to dance. One could make such graceful leaps and land so softly, run across the blankets and then do lovely splits on the iron floral sheets. Santa broke in with his merry ho, 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 and they all sang their happy chorus again. We are so happy, crispy and sweet, just fresh and lovely for everyone to eat. The bells on the big Christmas tree echoed their chimes from the living room. In perfect rhythm, the candles waved their flames while the logs in the fireplace crackled with glee. Opening her cage, the blue budgie flew to the merry mist to join in the fun. The goldfish in her bowl did her lively dance with splashes so graceful with these. Suddenly, time was up. The cuckoo clock whistled one hour and waved her arms for silence. Each little playful one slipped back to bed. The sun rays crept across Debbie's pillow as if to say, Wake up! She lay there and wondered if her dream was real. Then she left. Well, Daddy says I play make-believe in my little girl dreams. Guess he's right. I better get up for breakfast. When she sat up, there were cookie crumbs on the bed and sugar and icing on the pillow. I wonder how Daddy would explain this. <laughs> now I'd like to tell you about the book. My mother wrote this book in oh. 1979. She, she had no confidence in her writing skills. She took a uh, night school course with Ed Griffin. And she passed away the following year, very suddenly. And I uh, was cleaning up last winter, and I found her story, and I said, I've got to turn this into a Christmas card for the family. This, they, they each deserve a copy of this. So I took, I took uh, the story to my friend Karen Coleman, who is a well-known artist here. So would you read the story over, draw me a picture to turn into a Christmas card? Uh, could you do it by next week? <laughs> so I saw her next week, and she didn't have a picture for me. She had six. She said, wow. why stop with a Christmas card and we can turn this into a book? Wow. So a book was born. I, I edited it. It says here, read it. Edited by Karen <laughs> uh, just I just, just tweaked a little bit for grammar. And wow. then my friend Karen Coleman did all the illustrations. Karen did succeed in making me a Christmas card. And um, that's it. <laughs>